I have no makeup on, you guys. And so here I am, totally fresh faced. I have not a stitch of makeup on. So this is probably going to be the scariest thing you've seen on YouTube all year. But I'm on here to show you guys my face of the month which is sort of like my foundation and makeup routine that I have been using the most for the month of March. I picked this day when I look like crap, just so you can see what a difference the um, Leo Welly BB Cream um, does to my face as far as coverage. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so have you guys like recovered yet from the shock of seeing me without makeup? I hope so. Um, so anyways, uh, I pinned my bangs back because the last time I did a tutorial, my bangs were like all in my face and a lot of people complained that I needed to like pin them back. So I went ahead and did that. So that just added to the scariness of this tutorial. But anyways, um, the first product that I use every morning now is the Celnique Paramedical um, Serum. And it is their Derma Brightening Complex. A little bit in my dropper like this and I just put a little tiny drop in my hand. And it's almost like um, an oil. So then I rub it between my hands and I just apply it to my face. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Leo Welly Triple the Solution BB Cream. And I'm using this one in particular because I know that a lot of you guys who watched my video said that this was the one that you ordered. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how this one worked. And if you haven't seen my BB Cream video, I'm going to link it down below. Be sure to check it out because they are absolutely amazing. And the Triple the Solution is the one with SPF 30 and the Whitening and Wrinkle Care. So this one is definitely best for summer. So... It just has a little pump like I showed you guys before and I'll just take two little squirts and for most of you guys it'll only take one but I really like it to be like medium to full coverage so then I just dab my fingers in it like this and I do apply it with my hands they don't even recommend that you apply your BB cream with a brush because your hands just help to warm it up and sort of melt and blend it into your skin seamlessly so definitely don't try to be fancy and bust all your brushes out just use your fingers they're your best tool sometimes so I just tap it all onto my face, down my nose, on my chin, on my cheeks, and then I'm just gonna blend it all in. So I love the Leo Welly Triple the Solution. And um, just like in my BB cream video, I'll put a link down below to where I order mine from. Um, so if you guys are interested in ordering, you can go ahead and do that. I can get ready to apply my sheer cover. And I do use the sheer cover mineral foundation. And it's kind of similar, um, if you've never heard of this, to like a Bare Minerals or something. It's just a mineral foundation and it's promoted by Lisa Gibbons. You can get it, I think it's either QVC or HSN. I found my little kit at the Bed Bath & Beyond. They'll sell like sheer cover starter kits and you can also order from the sheer cover website but I don't really recommend that because they make you sign up for like every month you'll get like a new kit and I don't like to get suckered into that so I just go and pick it up at Bed Bath & Beyond so that I don't have to be part of their program. <laughs> So this is the Sheer Cover Mineral Foundation in Latte. And I just tap some of the powder into the cap. And then I use my um, Sigmax Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, the F80. It is ready. Next, I apply some of my e.l.f. Warm Bronzer, and this is from their studio line, and I'm just going to use a big fluffy powder brush to apply it. This is what it looks like on the inside, and I just swirl it, and then I just run it along my contour line, and this brush is shedding like crazy. So right here, so I run it right here on my cheekbones, and then I run it up into my temples and onto my forehead, just where you would get a natural sun-kissed glow if you were outside tanning, down the bridge of your nose, and right here on your chin. You want to give the appearance um, that you're less heavy underneath your chin, and you want to just have nice jawline, nice sharp angles, just run it underneath, right here along your jawline. Next, I apply the MAC Cream Color Base in Tickle Me Pink, and this was from the Stylishly Yours collection. I love this color. And then I just use my um, MAC 187, and I just tap it in there, and then I just dab it onto my cheeks. And this is a really great, um, just really nice pink blush color. I just tap it onto my cheekbone, and then I swirl it up into my temples. Then I just take a little contouring brush and I put my ELF Studio blush in Pink Passion over top of that just to sort of set the blush cream. 
sweep that over the um, tickled pink cream color base just to give myself some more color. And again, it does set um, the cream color base really well, so it's not going to go anywhere. My next step is to prime my eyes, and I just use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is just the little mini one that comes with the um, Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I know the order that I do this in is really random, but it's just the way I do it. So anyways, then I apply my lip liner, and this is NYX Lip Liner in Pale Pink, and this is like the perfect nudie pink. I love it. It's like almost a perfect dupe for the P2 um, liner that uh, Rose and Libby sent me, and I was like devastated when I loved this so much because I was like, no, you can only get these in Germany, um, and I loved it so, so much, and it's in the color Rose, if you're in Germany, P2 and Rose, um, and I loved it, so I went out and looked desperately for a dupe that I could buy here in the States, and I think that NYX's Pale Pink is like absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to apply that, um, I'm going to outline my lips and then I'm going to put a little bit on the inside just to sort of um, set my lips for my lipstick. It is ready. It is ready. So now I have the lip liner applied and now I'm going to apply my lipstick. And this is the MAC Viva Glam Lady Gaga 2, and I've showed you guys this before. It's just a really nice creamy beige nude, and it goes really nice over that um, pale pink undertone lip liner, so I love that. I'm going to show you guys the eye look that I've been doing the most this month. And I was really surprised that a couple people um, had actually commented on my last couple videos and asked me to do a tutorial on what I had on my eyes um, because it's just so simple. But I was really flattered that people liked it. Um, so the first product that I'm going to use is an Urban Decay eyeshadow and it is in Half Baked. I just use my fingers to apply this because I find that it just blends and is the most pigmented when I actually use my finger. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid, and this is like my all-time favorite eyeshadow. Like, I love it. It's so pigmented. It looks super metallic and foiled, and it really complements uh, my hazel eyes, so I love it. And yes, I've been wearing it pretty much all month. So I just apply that over both my lids, and you guys can see how crazy pigmented that that is just was like that one little layer on my eyelids and that's why I love this half-baked eyeshadow so much because it's just really easy to apply with your fingers and then just go and it's so pigmented and metallic and foiled and I just love it so after I apply that I will apply my P2 eye souffle and this was also sent to me by Kirsten Rosenliebe from Germany and this is in the color dreamy cream and it's just like a gorgeous um, cream eyeshadow in like a beautiful champagne color. I love this stuff. I mean, I really love it. So that's what it looks like. And a really good dupe for this would be um, just CoverGirl's Champagne Eyeshadow, which is another one that I use as a highlight a lot. Um, but anyways, I just prefer the creamy consistency of this one. So I just apply that underneath um, my brow bone. And then I run it down here into the corner of my eye and up. So just do this whole area right here. And then I just bring it in a little bit right here with my finger. And it just blends so nice. Sorry I've been flicking you off this like entire tutorial. <laughs> so I'm going to do the other side. Same thing underneath my brow bone. Just trying to like blend it in right here at the crease with the Urban Decay. And then come down into my inner tear duct right here and then just bring it over into this uh, first quarter of your eyelid. So that's literally the eye look. Like that's all it is. And I just love it. If you want you can go in with like a blending brush and just blend it out better but I will usually like to be honest just use my fingers because it's the easiest and I find that I can blend easier with my fingers. That's just the way it is. <laughs> So um, then I've been using my new uh, e.l.f. eyelash curler because I think it works really great and it's only a dollar. Um, so I will just put my eyelashes in there, curl them up. Hold it for about like 15 seconds and you can see that they got super curled. I know this looks like some kind of like torture contraption or something. So then I just go in with my mascara now, and I use Avon's Super Full Midnight Mascara. 
and I love this freaking mascara. Um, I don't use many products from Avon, but something about this mascara, I just can't get away from it. I really love it. So, um, it doesn't really give me like crazy volume or anything like that, but it's just really nice. It separates my lashes really well, and it does its job, so I love it. So I'm going to apply this, and I'm really bad about doing it on camera, so I'm just going to kind of do my own thing and get back to you. <laughs> Okay, so now I have my mascara applied, and speaking of mascara, holy eyelashes. This freaking lilash that I've been applying every night is really working. My eyelashes are like growing out of control. I really didn't think it would work, but I am shocked and amazed. So, next I use my Mary Kay Brow Gel, just to hold my brows in place. And I really like this one because it doesn't get all dry with like white clumps like some of the other brow gels I've used. So, I definitely love this one. Then sometimes I'll come in with my CoverGirl um, eyeshadow in champagne and I'll just dip my finger in it and I'll just go right here in the arch of my brow just to sort of like just highlight that area. Next, you guys don't have to do this. This is kind of like a weird step that I do. <laughs> but I take some of my um, Essence Color and Shine eyeshadow and this is in Stage Beauty and this is like a baked gold eyeshadow. And I actually don't really like it as eyeshadow, but I found another use for it. And I just take my contour brush and I just swirl it in the gold eyeshadow. And then I just run it down the bridge of my nose, because I like to look really glowy and iridescent. And this just adds like some gold shimmer, like a bronzy shimmer. And then I'll just run it um, along the tops of my cheekbones. And it just adds like, I don't know if you guys can see that. And right here on my cheek as well. But it just like adds like a little bit of like gold bronzy shimmer. So I like that. It makes you look healthy. Um, so that's a good use for that eyeshadow if you have it and you don't like it. Um, and then um, my last step is always to apply my Mary Kay Liquid Illuminator in shade 1. This is like one of my favorite products from Mary Kay and that I use religiously. I use it every single day. Um, so I'll just squeeze a little tiny bit out. And I'll run that down the bridge of my nose. And this is like the craziest illuminator. Like I would say it's better than Benefit High Beam. I really love it. So down the bridge of my nose. Make sure I don't have too much on the end of my nose. And then on my upper cheekbones, I will just dot some and then blend it out. And just tap it in to my upper cheekbone. And you guys can probably see that it's really illuminated that area. Like I said, I like to be really illuminated. <laughs> Um, so on this side, and if you want, you can run it into your temples a little bit and sort of do like a crescent moon shape here, and that will really just brighten up your face. Add just a little smidge um, right here to my cupid's bow, just to sort of accentuate that area. And now I'm done, so now I can let my poor little baby bangs down. They're probably like, what the heck? Oh, now look. Now they're all kinds of frisky. So usually then I'll just go in and I'll just blend out with my big fluffy powder brush. I almost forgot. Then my very last step is just to apply a little bit of concealer. And I just use the Sheer Cover Duo Concealer. And that will come with like your starter kit if you get the mineral foundations that I love. I just love Sheer Cover in general. Um, so it comes with like two different color concealers. One is more like red toned and one's more yellow toned. So I just take a little bit of it and it's so freaking nice and creamy and it doesn't crease, which I love because I do have fine lines. So I'll just tap that underneath my eye and then down the bridge of my nose and underneath my nose and sort of like um, create a triangle shape with your concealer right here. And that'll like eliminate any darkness or shadows that you might have. And if you want, you can add a little bit of lip gloss. I usually don't just because I just like my lips to feel like nice and creamy and not really sticky. Um, but if I do go for lip gloss, which occasionally I will in my videos, um, I'll just use my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pink Top. And it's like this really cute Barbie pink. And I'll just add a little bit of that. So this is my full face routine for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and put all the links and the products mentioned down below. So if you guys are interested, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to um, ask any questions that you might have and comment and rate and of course subscribe. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.